No, Stephanie. Battleborn sells more than just batteries. They also sell solar controllers, inverters, just about all the ancillaries you could imagine short of the panels themselves. I just loaded up six batteries. I'm about to uh, unbox a, uh, an inverter, but with all the gals waiting for me, there's no way I'm gonna have time to install this here nor would I really even want to. Let's head down to Mexico. I'll put it in there and I'll show you the process. I'm pretty pumped. I got the Victron inverter that they sent me that they felt was best for my needs. I filled out a form uh, listing everything that I use, all my power and pretty much the cycles under which I use it. And they suggested I get this uh, inverter they sent me out. Huge thanks to Sean, Diane, everybody down at Battleborn for getting me started on this stuff. Can't wait to get it installed and see how it performs. In the meantime, I better get this stuff up, loaded up. Jessica's over at uh, Walmart wrapping up a few last minute things. Gotta put the trailer in storage and uh, start heading our way down. I'm here in Quartzsite. I just left Parker and on the way almost to Quartzsite, I could see the cell towers at the dump in Quartzsite, how close I was inside of 10 miles. I heard what sounded like a shotgun blast under the van, under the bus, and I imagined the worst. I thought, oh my gosh, looks like I'm gonna have to pull up soon. Uh, I thought, oh my gosh, I blew my, uh, my drive shaft, my transmission, something's going on that's gonna be a trip ending event. And as it turns out, I blew the inside tire. I don't want these guys to wait on me. I'm gonna go ahead and drive, pull forward. I'll see if he's cool with me parked right here. At least this way it gives him a chance to be able to walk through and get around to the tire. But what happened was it just exploded. And I thought, oh my gosh, the, the uh, bus even wiggled a little bit. Uh, fishtail on the road. Anyway, here's what it looks like. So I had to drive at about 15 miles an hour because I didn't want this thing to come off and cause problem, more problems. I've got seeing gla uh, reading glasses on and prescription sunglasses. The glasses that I ordered from Zenny Optical keep falling apart. So I got new ones that were the right uh, triple, you know, poly, whatever you call it, but they keep coming apart. The lenses keep, the frames keep coming apart. So now I'm resigned to this and these until I figure something out. I have my prescription. Savannah's crying because she wants to always be with me. I have my prescription at, uh, on my phone. I took a picture of it, plus I have it in the bus. So maybe I can get glasses when we get down there. The first place wanted $525 installed. This place wants $411. Uh, the last time I got a tire, I got one in Bend, Oregon for $75 installed in really good shape as a used tire. And that tire is holding up just fine. So I have no regrets about doing that. But it looks like I'm eating on this one. Here comes the guy, we'll have to talk to him. Hey, how's it going, what's that? So it's just basically a kid that's gonna put the tire on. I'll ask him if he doesn't mind being on the camera. But it's just a guy putting a tire on. The main thing is, the main thing is it happened here instead of in Mexico, in the middle of nowhere.
We're about to cross some huge expanses of nothingness and so this is the perfect time for it to happen. <laughs> Jessica ran to Subway to get us some sandwiches while he's changing this out. You know what, I'm not even gonna really ask him if he wants to be filmed because you know, there might be insurance things involved with where I wouldn't even care. Like everything goes fine as with where I'm concerned, but somebody else watches the film and has some kind of a beef. So I'm just going to turn the camera off now. And I will put it right there. Big thank you to Dale from the van bill for helping me on uh, getting the trailer off of the bus and onto the Astrovan here at our storage facility. As the sun is setting, we're gonna meet up with uh, one of the people from our group. And I gotta put gas in the bus, I haven't done that yet. And start making our way down to El Centro or someplace close to the border and uh, get ready to cross over. Here we go. Look at how empty this place is. This is where the big tan event happens. Turn the fan off. This is where the big tan event happens. Oh man, that whole area is filled with people usually. There's, I think candy tools, they're gone. The porta bodies are still there though. I gotta move that curtain next time we stop so I can see better. We're headed down south to Calexico. And as you can tell by the shadow, the being cast by the bus, the, the shadows are long because the sun is low. Welcome to the next 80 miles of your life right there on this road. Just gonna sit in the back. And we are off to the races. Never thought it would happen. Okay, I'm just going to go with the light in this situation. We're here at the uh, Walmart where I stayed last year, a year ago. It's only about six or seven miles from the border. Just got here. It's about, I don't know, 9, 9.30 at night. I'm pretty tired got, fixing that. Going to get that tire fixed unexpectedly. Just the stress of dealing with that and um fueling up and i mean it's been a, a long day anyway but it's over now i'm gonna put the curtains up in the front and tomorrow we meet up with everyone and still need to exchange uh us dollars into pesos here's what it looks like out the front tired but excited <laughs> 